All right, ooh, 4.13, I know everyone's got their eye on the clock. Uh, all right, uh, John, you want to say a few words? You bring us up to 4.20? Yeah? Sweet. Battery died. Uh, how's it going, everyone? Uh, I just want to say thank you so much for uh, Andrew giving me the chance to speak. Uh, New England Grassroots Institute for giving me a lot of education, bringing me a part of a great community. And thank you guys for being here. Um, I'm just to give you a background. Uh, I started smoking when I was 12. Not the most noble thing in the world to start with. But all my life, everything was normal and everything was fine. One day when I was 18, I decided to quit smoking weed to get a better job, get a better pace of life. I started throwing up nonstop every morning. Six months, going through medical trials, trying to figure out what was going on. They found out that I had a brain growth, inoperable dead center. Nothing they can do, it'll paralyze me or kill me if they touch it. Cannabis was the only thing that kept me going all those years. They theorized I had that for many years of my life, through concussions and football, uh, probably running away from the police. <laughs> um, but I stand before you now as a more mature person, taking this as a whole, not as an industry, but a passion. I don't support legalization. I support ending prohibition. Through our medical market, we are getting screwed. And we see cancer patients dying because they can't afford the proper treatment. I don't want 1,200 plants in my backyard to get the neighborhood high, though I could. I don't want it legal so I can smoke a joint in my driveway, though that'd be great. I want to end prohibition so we can treat cancer and eradicate sickness from this state. Um, I'm thrilled to guys feel the same way I do. But believe me, through the work that we're doing, Rep Dyer back there, Andrew, Mr. Gramiglio here, president of the 420 Foundation, we're taking steps to make this a reality. Rick Naya, really pushing us hard through the state. And one day, we can turn this into a reality where a cancer patient is an upcharge upwards of 900% just to make a dollar. We can get past this and we can treat people in a free market. Well, I want everyone to blaze up the 423. We have a uh, Four sixteen people, let's get ready. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Happy four twenty.